Hello, this is the Scratch Synth that I've been working on for CSC 436 Advanced Embedded Systems at UNL. This system is built on a Nexus Video FPGA, which connects over PMOD port to a MIDI circuit, and that circuit connects directly to this MIDI controller, which is just a standard 49 key keyboard with some faders and such for easy control. Some of the faders have been mapped to different functionalities, such as this for master volume, these four for amplitude, decay, sustain and release levels, these four buttons here switch between different signals, and then this very last button here is a clear operator that I use to be able to reset the system in case keys get stuck or something goes wrong. Anyways, as you can see, I bumped a couple of faders and they output control change signals. And with the current implementation, everything works as expected. So if I were to move this fader here, you can see that I keep getting control change events and it reads it accurately and properly and also quickly. And so with that, I'm able to have real time MIDI control of the FPGA. And so I implemented a synthesizer which has 12 operators, meaning I can click up to 12 keys at a time, and then also different signals. So sine input, triangle, saw, and square. So I'll start out with the sine since that's the default. And there's a default ADSR set as well. Um, and this is how it currently sounds if I click here C4. And you can see the output as well on the oscilloscope. Ah, that is not C4. I am down an octave. So here's C4, I believe, or a better note base would be A440. You can see that it generates the signal clearly and accurately. And you can see also that the control event is an A4. For testing purposes, I will now switch to a different signal, triangle. You can see that the waveform changes and that it also changes sound. Saw, square, and back to sign. Other things I've also implemented, like I mentioned at the beginning, is master volume control, master amplitude. So if I move this down to half, you can now see that it is a smaller signal and is also quieter. If I move down even more, you can see it keeps getting smaller or quieter rather. And if I move it down to its lowest position, I get no sound output at all. I can play notes quickly. I can play notes at the same time as well. And I can also modify the way the signal's amplitude changes over time with the envelope. And so if I were to make the attack long, I were to make the decay fairly quick, then the um, sustain fairly low, meaning it should ramp up slowly and then drop down to a low volume really quickly. And then I'll also make it a long release. And maybe it's because the amplitude is low, but you, wouldn't, you weren't really able to hear the release go out that well. So let me make a higher sustain. So now it's in the sustain phase, and if I let go, you can hear that the sound slowly fizzles out. Well, I'll have the attack pretty low. Um, I'll have no decay as well, so it should just go right to sustain. And so I get a bit of a bell effect where you get this hard hit at the beginning and it slowly fizzles out. So that's the majority of the functionality. I can also reset operators and so say I'm hitting this note right here and something goes wrong and I need to reset all the operators. I can hit this button here and it resets the system. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.